everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Call, and I'm here with Kobi from Splice. First of all, congratulations on getting the very first pentacle of this EU LCS season. Does it feel yeah. really nice? Yeah, I, honestly, like I played for two years and I got really close many times. I had like multiple quarter kills, but it was really nice to finally get a penta. So this was your personal f first f uh, pentacle as well? Yeah, in LCS. Yes, so. Nice, congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you, you're a bit sweaty. <laughs> yes, it was uh, it was an intense late game, so uh, we were we got a bit hyped in the end. <laughs> uh, I also, you know, like f for a decent amount of time, I actually looked like um, Schalke was gonna take the game after all. So, mm -hmm. how did you? How were you guys able to turn it around at the end? Mm, I mean, I think we played early mid game uh, really good actually. Um, we did what we should and played to our conditions, but then we kind of messed up. And they got like a burn for free, which like stalled out the game. But we still knew that we had like Caitlyn, Cillian, and once Caitlyn hits like f full items, basically, then they can't really do anything to uh, to stop that. So we knew that late game we would win, like no matter what, as long as we don't mess up really badly. Late game, Caitlyn is pretty OP. Yeah, like six items, scattering storm, and I run around with 500 AD, one shotting people. So. Yep, life of a ADC is actually fun sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was really fun to play this game. Uh, yeah, right now uh, we're still on the patch where Relic Shield and everything is still uh, applicable to ADCs essentially. Are you happy with all those shields guarding you and stuff? Mm, I personally, I don't like the Relic Shield too much. I prefer like Dorn's Blade or Dorn Shield. The, it's just like, it's so OP or like you have to go with. Otherwise you're just gonna like lose out on too many things. And like the shield you get from when you upgrade the Relic is like really, really strong. So, but I personally don't like that kind of meta. But it's gonna change next patch anyway, because they, yeah, should be should be out by next week already, I believe. Yeah, so. yeah. already in solo queue, it's it's completely yeah. gone. So that's that's great. Also, Nunu is a thing in solo queue. <laughs> yes, Nunu is, is extremely OP, and you um, to any solo queue players, you need to ban Nunu. You need to ban Nunu, one hundred percent. I can confirm. <laughs> if you want the Elo, at least. <laughs> Uh, so right now, Splice has had some uh, has had two wins, two losses. Um, you know, an unfortunate loss against Rocket. Uh, pretty close game overall. Uh, good decisive win against Unicorns. Now this r intense game against Schalke. Uh, are you happy with the team's performance so far? Mm, I would say it's a bit mixed because coming into first week, I feel like we we weren't like that strong. Um, but like going like we lost to Fnatic, that's fine. Uh, and then we had a really close game against uh, Unicorns, which I think we played really bad there, but we still won. But from that week to like this one, I think our players like gone so much up. Maybe it didn't show against the Rocket, uh, like against Rocket. Um, but like we played well early game as well, one mistake, and then everything just fell to the ground. Uh, so it's a bit sad we couldn't. Sh I mean, today was better, I think. Um, but we're still like improving a lot, and I think it will only get better like in the upcoming weeks. So nice. So uh, Splice as a team um, has completely revamped their roster, with the exception of you, of course. Uh, you played with you know the likes of Sankox and uh, even Mickey and and called for one and a half, almost two years for some of them. Yes. You know you were in the way the the Danish super team <laughs> or like the, the the Danish team of the LCS mm -hmm. with Mickey X on board. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you guys went to Worlds. Uh, you know, had still had good playoffs performances. Uh, summer two thousand seventeen. Was it hard to uh, not play with these players anymore that you've bonded with for such a long time? Mm, I think the hard part is that you're used to something like we've been used to the same thing for like two or three years, and it's like a fresh start. It feels nice to go into a new environment, but there's there's so many things like you need to get comfortable and like get to know the new people, and especially like playing on stage. It's like a completely different feeling because you're used to something and it's like completely different. So you need some time to like adjust to it. Um, but I mean, in terms of team synergy and stuff that, that will come, um, the main thing is that when you're living together for like two years, then you get to know each other pretty well. And it's kind of a, a change to not be around the same basis anymore. I'm guessing that there were some, some maybe some rituals or like just some funny things that you knew about the other players. Yeah, that don't apply. we had like a bunch of memes and like <laughs> everyone just knew each other so well. And uh, but that that stuff comes with time. So I'm looking forward to build that with my new team. Do you still have um, the decent communication with uh, your former teammates? Um, yeah, most of them. Um, I didn't talk to Trash or Colt for a long time, uh, but then I ran into him like before we were playing them. 
and talk a bit to him. Um, but the other ones I still uh, keep up to date with and talk to like um, every once in a while. So like we're still good, pretty good friends after all. Nice. Now you you get, now get to play with Kasing, who's obviously been around for a very long time. Uh, also had uh, some fantastic uh, splits and seasons, and some not so fantastic <laughs> splits and seasons. Uh, w how does it feel to to play with such uh, a well known figure in terms of EU supports? Mm, I mean, I think it feels good to play with Kasing. I wanted to play with him, or I played with him for like three years back in Challenger, and uh, we kind of knew each other from there. But then we just um yeah it was always like in the back of my mind i want to play with this guy someday um not saying anything bad about my other supports because i think me this what i had with mickey was like we were one of the the very best bot lanes in eu um so of course we still have some synergy to build up but it feels good to play with him and i feel like he compliments a lot uh what i do in game uh he's a great shot caller and like um he's very vocal and i think his play style also fits me quite well so we're looking forward to seeing a new one of the best bot lanes in you. With you I hope. So. I think with a bit more time, we can uh, definitely cont contest for. It's hard to say right now. I'm not gonna answer that, but we we can definitely be one of the best. Okay. C good confidence, of course. And now that that Sven and Mithy are gone, and yes, you know, yes, yes, Reckless course. and Hillisang uh, are yeah. not quite in the. I'm only saying team. this because Sven and Mithy are gone. Uh, that I think that we can be the best for sure if we do what's necessary. <laughs> so I mean, if Sven and Mithy would still be here, would it be just like no question or? I mean, then you can grow into becoming as good or better, but that would, I think that would take more time since they've been like the best bot in the West, as people say, for like a couple of years. So that's pretty hard to take away. Do you agree with that notion? Because, you know, a lot of people also say, hey, we had well, Reckless and Yellowstar back in the day, but uh, also, you know, Double Lift and uh, Afromu was a really strong, or Sticks and Afromu <laughs> sometimes even. But do you think that's that's not comparable to Sven Amuthi? Mm, I mean, in some ways, I think it's comparable. Um, but just if you look at Sven Amuthi, like whatever team they have been on, they just, they always go far. Like they go playoffs, they go to finals, they eventually win. And they won like three splits in a row, so. Four, actually. Oh, yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's hard to take anything, like you can't say anything bad about them. Uh, they're just really, really solid and yeah. Do, do you watch their uh, TSM games so far or is that something uh, not... I don't mean, watch? I watched some of the games and it didn't look that good. I mean, I think they just need to build team synergy. Uh, some people are jumping on the hate train a bit too too fast with TSM. Um, but I think with time they will, they will start uh, getting their stuff together. Now, <laughs> we've had a bit of a, this exchange on Twitter before. Uh, I, I call you Kobi, but that's oh. actually the incorrect way to pronounce your name. Now, I would really like to know okay. from you personally what it's the correct way. Yeah, because it was, a f like I said it in the video, yeah. um, but in Danish, you would say Kobe. Kobe? Um, but like some people say like Kobe or Kobe. Kobe is fine. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it the proper Danish way, then you just say Kobe. It sounds a bit tame, but that's, that's <laughs> Kobe. Kobe. Yes. Okay, so it was okay. like smooth bees and smoothies. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I've seen, uh, <laughs> this might be a bit out of context, but I've seen uh, your mother like some of our <laughs> tweets uh, uh, when we were talking about splice and stuff. Is she very supportive of you as well? <laughs> it's actually funny because uh, before I came to that and Kassing mentioned it as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's very supportive and like follows, uh, like follows Twitter and like follows my games and is very supportive. So that's great. Of course, you know, that's that's always nice when you have family support. Uh, some players don't have that uh, kind of uh, luxury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my parents were always um, very supportive, I think, even though it was in the beginning, uh, there wasn't much to be supportive of because I wasn't earning any money. I was just only playing. But I think they've been they've been great help and great support. So I think those are some fantastic words in the interview on anything you would like to say to the Splice fans. Um, well, thank you to uh, all of you guys who are still supporting us and me, um, even though it's a complete new Splice roster and um, to the Danish fans as well. Um, I'm the only Dane deaf, so <laughs> I know it's not much, but I hope it's enough. Um, so I hope you guys keep uh, supporting us. Okay. Heard it from Kobe. Yes. That was better. <laughs> <laughs> this was Darius from the Shotcast.